A huge day for Star Wars fans with the release of the first full-length trailer for the new movie Star Wars The Force Awakens. The dark side. The Jedi. To you. Looks pretty awesome to me. The trailer premiered last night during Monday Night Football and was viewed online more than two million times in less than an hour. Ticket sales for the film, which comes out December 18th, caused several online sites to crash. Many fans waited in long lines like this one in Seattle for a chance to buy tickets for the first showings. One savvy eBay user is selling four IMAX 3D tickets for $400. The force is indeed strong in that one. But fans aren't the only ones losing their minds over the trailer. Check out how lead actor John Boyega reacted when he saw the trailer for the first time. Yes, 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 yes. I guess he liked it. Here with me now is Andy Nguyenschwander, film and TV staff writer at BuzzFeed. Andy, what was your reaction to this trailer? <laughs> I mean, you know, I grew up with these movies, so of, of course I was acting pretty much the same way John Boyega was. <laughs> I was flipping out about it pretty hard. Uh, and, and you know, I don't think I'm alone in that. It seems like pretty much everybody on the internet is, is, is going nuts over this trailer, which is impressive since it's not even the first trailer, it's the second one. It's probably the biggest reaction I've ever seen to a follow-up trailer that isn't even the first look at the movie. So explain this one to me. Star Wars fans weren't exactly, you know, excited by the prequel movies as <laughs> compared to the originals. What is it about this one that is capturing the attention? Well, you know, I think uh, there's a lot of hope that this is this is really the Star Wars story that that we wanted all along, um, and and I think a lot of people are learning that uh, nostalgia is a really really powerful thing. Uh, uh, we're seeing a lot of remakes of of older movies and TV shows and stuff, uh, and so you know th that's sort of being incorporated into this one. Uh, you know, of course we're getting new characters and we're getting a new story, but. We're also seeing the return of Han Solo and Luke Skywalker right. and Princess Leia. You know, we're, we're seeing all of them come back. And it really seems like J.J. Abrams is getting the idea, too. He's, he's going back to the old methods of doing things mm -hmm. where the prequels were mostly CGI, but here we're seeing, you know, actual actors in suits playing Wookiees and, and practical effects and <laughs> actual working droids instead of a bunch of computer-generated effects. And the director, J.J. Abrams, has also taken these extraordinary measures to to maintain the secrecy around the plot Absolutely. line, right? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. What kind of Very things has he been doing? What's that? What kind of things has he been doing to keep the secrecy up? Well, you know, uh, one of the things that people are really pointing out about this trailer, and the poster just came out a couple of days too, they noticed it there, is uh, there's no Luke Skywalker. Uh, we, we think we've seen his hand in these first two trailers. We see a robotic hand uh, uh, touching R2-D2, and uh, we it's Luke, but otherwise he's completely absent from the poster, and uh, that's probably the, the the biggest best kept secret in this uh, in this series thus far. Is is there's been almost no details about what Luke is up to and what part he's going to play in, so, in these upcoming movies. Andy, say, see if you can solve this mystery for me because I saw this sure. video on Facebook. Daisy Ridley, uh, yes. lead actor in this uh, in this movie crying while she's watching the trailer of, uh, I think it looks like on her iPhone or something. Yeah. What do you think she was crying about? Uh, you know, I think uh, it's it's largely a um, a reaction that a lot of us have had. It's it's it brings up a lot of emotions seeing this. You know, uh, it just sort of getting a feeling that like Star Wars is back. You know, the the way that we really want to see it. And you know, speaking of Daisy Ridley crying, one of the biggest uh, uh, frames in the trailer too is a shot of her crying while she's. Uh, holding right. what looks to be John Boyega's uh, uh, character's jacket or maybe some fur from Chewbacca. So there's a lot going on there. Emotions are definitely high. All right, so we'll take a Kleenex with us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, definitely. Andy Nguyen-Schwander. All right, thank you very much. Still ahead, House Republicans are set to